Good afternoon. We'd like to welcome everyone to the Mesa City Council study session for the afternoon of February the 7th. Uh, all of our council are present with the exception of Mr. Luna, who is excused. Well, we express our condolences to Mr. Luna. He's attending a, a family funeral today, so our, our thoughts are certainly with him and his family. Uh, first item on our agenda is to review our agenda for tonight's council meeting. I know we went over it Thursday, but council, any, any, in the interim, any questions on tonight's agenda? Mr. Freeman. Thank you, Mayor. I, I got a briefing on 4D, and that's the cooperative contract for our paramedic training. So I just wanted us to know that for the first time in decades, Mesa Fire is uh, promoting sponsoring our own paramedic program and doing that training. So I'm excited about that, having gone through the paramedic program. So I guess there were some educational issues in getting uh, some of the other programs weren't available. So we're doing our own now for our fire department, first time in at least 25, 30 years. Great. Well, that, we're, Mr. Brady, you're okay with that? Yes. <laughs> we're a big city, and I think I, I heard earlier today that nine out of 10 fire calls are medical calls. So yeah, there are 10 times more medical calls than there are fire calls. So it's good we're training our paramedics. If I could just add, we're going to, I think, 28 to 30 Mesa Fire personnel, then there will be a total of 48 students, mm -hmm. and the others will come from the other municipalities like Queen Creek, Gilbert, maybe Chandler. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Council, other questions regarding tonight's agenda? Okay. Thank you. So cur currently there is nothing off of the consent agenda, but we'll see if folks uh, show up. We do have uh, some, a few items under awards and recognitions, um, but so it should be a relatively quick meeting tonight. Um, next item on our agenda is conferences attended. Council members, since last Thursday, anything you'd like to share with us? I know you've all been very busy. Thank you, Mr. Thompson and I were uh, at Bell Bank Park on Friday for the, the ribbon cutting. I think. Sounds like a lot of people have spent a lot of time already breaking this, this uh, very popular uh, destination in our city uh, in over the last couple of weekends. I, I know Mr. Heredia has logged several hours on the field already. So uh, tens of hours, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to exaggerate what this, what this facility is. It really is uh, gonna be very, yeah. Right. I mean, we, we, this is a destination for uh, the entire country. Uh, at the youth and amateur sports and tournaments, uh, it's, it's just an amazing facility. So uh, Mesa is fortunate to be the, the home of it. Anything to add to that? Thank you. So we wish them well. Also on, on Saturday, I know I was with uh, most of you at the uh, Asian Festival slash sign, uh, Metro sign uh, unveiling. Uh, Mr. Reddy, why don't you tell us about that? No, great turnout. I think must have been thousands of people there throughout the day. Uh, and yeah, we uh, we unveil unveiled the the point of interest uh, name from the Sycamore Station to Asian Asian District. Uh, that's a big a big uh, change there uh, on the light rail station, and a lot of great food events. A lot of dignitaries were there, so. We appreciate everybody coming out and supporting this uh, blossoming area, so. Yeah. I think Asian festivals could be really occurring every weekend with, uh, and be very, very popular. I think there are still people in line for the Happy Bow Dumplings <laughs> right now. They could eat more food. Yeah. It was a, yeah. Absolutely. Council, anything else you'd like to share with us under uh, meetings and conferences? Madam Vice Mayor. Yes. Um, also on Saturday, um, I attended um, in celebration of Black History Month at the Mesa Public Main Library. Uh, we, there was an opening celebration for the veterans of Washington Escobedo, which was a, a segregated neighborhood back in the day. And it's um, a, a wonderful exhibit of the stories of the the, the um, veterans from that neighborhood on exhibit in the library throughout this month. And then this morning, um, Councilmember Spillsbury, me and you were at the state capitol 
for the introduction uh, of a bipartisan non-discrimination bill uh, introduced by the House. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I was proud to see uh, our uh, speaker is sponsoring it in the House of Representatives, and um, that was a great event as well. I'm still very proud that Mesa is uh, showing some leadership on that issue. All right, Council, anything else on uh, conferences or meetings attended? Thank you very much. Next item on our agenda is scheduling of meetings. Mr. Brady, what does our calendar look like? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just a reminder, Council, that this Thursday will not be a regular study session, but instead there will be a joint meeting with uh, the Council and the Mesa Public School Board. And it will, when it will send out, I'm going to send out the um, agenda. We have that. I'll send that out to you tomorrow. But it'll be located, the meeting will be located at their boardroom at 549 North Stapley Drive. It'll be building number two. So we'll, um, they'll be hosting us. There will be our regular start time at 730, um, but it'll be at their board meeting. So, And just to, uh, for those, I know there's a lot of people who schedule their lives around watching these meetings on Channel 11. Uh, do you think that that meeting will be broadcast on 11, or do we need to send them over to Ed TV? to watch that meeting? Mayor, I don't, we don't know. I don't know the answer of whether they, yeah. I don't know if they broadcast their, they this broadcast meetings. Their meetings. No, but I don't know if like but their study I session. If, I don't, school I don't know if districts our, broadcast their study session. Oh, do they? No, I, I get you right. We don't. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this. That did not come up. I apologize. I didn't even okay. think to ask. All right, but there's no action items on that agenda. Just no, so briefings, know, briefings it's, it's on just, topics. Uh, yep. We're going to talk about literacy, broadband, and the aggregate expenditure limit. Okay. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Council, anything else to discuss before we adjourn this meeting? If not, is there a motion to do that? Thank you, Mr. Thompson and Ms. Spilsbury. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned, and we will reconvene at 545 upstairs.